Greetings and welcome. I greet you with the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So for today's video, the Lord gave me a scripture, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 11. It reads, But the land which you cross over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, which drinks water from the rain of heaven. So I just want to go ahead and say a prayer in regards to this scripture. I pray that our promises may be watered by God's living waters. I pray that we may be refreshed by God's living waters as we step into our promises. And as we walk in there, quench us, Lord, for we thirst for you. Where we might have allowed dreams that you gave to us to shrivel, Lord, revive them. Pour out your rain over your promised lands, Lord. Remind us, Lord, that you came to bring water to your people, Lord, which will become like a fountain of water springing up into eternal life. Remind us, Lord, that your water is infinite power to revive any dying dreams, Lord. So... It's so funny too that right before I was going to record this, um, I thought, well, you know, I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> I should get some water. Um, but I came kind of, you know, downstairs away to record this um, from everything else. And so I, I just went out to see if I had any water in the room, but <laughs> I had already drank it all. And, and then the Lord's like, <laughs> yeah, well... I will give you living waters. <laughs> and I was like, yes, Lord, I hear you. So the Lord is good and he gives us living water, which um, quenches our thirst. And uh, when we drink those living waters, we will never be thirsty again, the Bible says. So uh, that leads me to the next scripture. John chapter 4, verse 14, it reads, But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Amen. God is so good. So, I just want to encourage you, um, child of God, that water is coming to you. Uh, you are thirsty and water is coming to you. Maybe your business needs some rain right now. Maybe your marriage needs some rain. Your relationships, your finances need some rain right now. Maybe your womb needs some rain right now. Rain is coming, child of God. Hallelujah. Praise God because rain from heaven is coming. Living water is coming to quench your thirst. And you shall thirst no more. Praise God. The spirit of the living God is coming to fill you up so that you will thirst no more. When we have God's spirit in us, we can do great and mighty things by the power of God's Holy Spirit. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 reads, The people who know their God shall be strong and carry out great exploits. Hallelujah. When we have God's spirit in us, child of God, we know God. We are in an intimate relationship with him. And through his spirit, we can do great things. Never forget that you are a child of the living God. I feel the joy of the Lord. Never forget that you are a child of the living God. Amen. And with that, I leave you with the blessing of God by which you shall go up and not come down. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for more prayers and prophetic words. Until next time, be blessed, child of God.